all you happy packers, it's Lenny Harvest here for another. <laughs> I'm just kidding, everyone. It's Sarah Kay here, the <laughs> the actor and writer and maker of Story of the Harvest. I'm here to answer a lot of questions pertaining to the Story of the Harvest series as a 1,000 subscriber special. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh, it's been so wi a while since I've been able, since I've been behind the. <laughs> microphone you guys have no idea I've been building sets like crazy anyway uh, let's get started <laughs> the first question that popped up in my folder is were you inspired by someone to become a youtuber by Carlos Henera Henera Des I'm dyslexic <laughs> if it wasn't obvious before it sure is now <laughs> anyway to answer your quest question Carlos Yes, I was inspired. I actually always wanted to do a YouTube channel. And to be honest, my animations and my speed paints, they never got much attention. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm still planning to do some more animation stuff, but it's mainly gonna be for video games and such, which I'll move on to in a minute here. But to answer your question, yes, I was inspired by Aphmau and Sam Gladiator. They looked like they were just having so much fun acting out their role plays. I just had to start one. And man, I've had more fun than I've ever had making a video. It's just fun to interact with your own characters in the, this little game universe you could basically create. <laughs> Let's move on to the next question. Yeah, I'm so happy. Congrats also. Plus, you deserve 1 million subscribers. Oh, <laughs> thank you. My question is, do you enjoy what you do, like anime and creating a story? Oh, now this is similar to the question beforehand. And yes, I enjoy animating and I love creating stories, but I don't like animation as much as I used to, to tell the truth. As you probably all have seen, my Cloud Artist animation I won a Governor's Award for. What I had to take that off my channel for uh, copyright reasons, but beforehand, I loved making the Cloud Harness at the start, but a lot of pressure came in, and I just realized I don't really love anime as much as I used to, and during the time, I actually found a new passion, making video games. Yes, I program video games on the side. Now, I don't have anything out right now because I'm working on my current, my first and current title, The Limelight. There will be more on this channel about the limelight in the future. Heck, I might even do a Minecraft interjection to the limelight. <laughs> Just for funsies. But for now, there's nothing about nothing on the limelight yet. I plan on releasing an animation about it soon, but <laughs> that's a while ways off. I also have an interest in graphic no programming graphic novels and programming RPGs. I just find it relaxing. It was animation was a little bit more eh, Every industry is competitive. And normally I'd be able to handle that, but ugh, it was really, really pressurizing when you're only one person working on an animation. I mean, I've had help, but at the same time, let's just say I found a better passion than what I, what I had in the past. And <laughs> don't get me wrong, Story of the Harvest is a great passion that I'm following currently, but my main passion is to follow the is to uh, program video games in the future. <laughs> it's an aspiration I have, and I hope to follow it soon. To answer your question, Madison Bell, yes, I do enjoy I do enjoy creating in general. <laughs> On to the next question. Next question is, oh, this is one you've all been asking me for a while now. I've even had a one or two tryouts, even though I didn't ask for this. Nerdy Ninja asks, would you be willing to have others as voice actors? Now, this is a touchy subject because I have some friends who voice act, but at the same time, I would like for people to audition instead of just giving the roles to close friends of mine. At the same time, I'm confident in my own abilities to voice act because I've voice acted before in the Fanimation community. I've done small high-pitched voices and I've done even some little boy voices. <laughs> so if there will be voice acting in the future, I most likely will take some female roles for myself since I'm confident in doing Spring's voice and maybe Maple's voice too. <laughs> little tidbit, a little thing for you all to know about me. <laughs> 
But yeah, I am definitely thinking about voice actors in the future. But you'll have to have a quality microphone. I can't stretch this. People, <laughs> people looking for voice actors can't stretch this enough. You need a quality microphone to voice act. As harsh it may, so may sound, you can't really voice act without proper audio recording software and proper equipment to record with. I use a audio tech micro podcast microphone you can get on Amazon for 100 and I believe $120. I got it for Christmas. And let me tell you, it's a really good microphone. But there's also Blue Yetis and etc. If you guys want me to make a voice acting video, comment comment down below. I do already have in mind a voice for Crow though. A friend of mine <laughs> who could probably nail the voice really well. But anyway, let's move on. Next question. Miss Happy Packa, right now I'm making fan art for you. Go to my Google Plus to see them. Oh, thank you, Rosewood. <laughs> this is my first fan art. Thank you so, so much. I love seeing fan art of my character. Uh, if you guys ever have any fan art or fan fictions, link them down below in the comments and I will read them. Oh my gosh, I am so insanely happy. <laughs> it gets, it makes me all giddy inside to get fan art from the fans. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've teared up multiple times receiving two fan arts already. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> next question. Thank you again, Miss Rosewood. <laughs> and I like your name. Next question. Shelby Gregg asks, I have a curious curiosity in this question. Is Lenny going to have a romance in Story of the Harvest? Yes! <laughs> there will be romance in Story of the Harvest. Much like the Harvest Moon series itself. Lenny's gonna have multiple black <laughs> bachelorettes. The bat, she's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> multiple bachelors to pick from. As you can already tell, two bachelors have already appeared in the series. One is quite obvious from all the crone comments I've been getting lately. Yes, I'm giving you guys an official ship name. It is spelled. It is called crone. <laughs> C R O. N E Crone, and that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> I I saw a lot of debate in the comments over the name, and I really wanted to help you guys out. But yes, another bachelor has already shown up for Lenny. I'm gonna let you guys guess who it is down below, and he showed up in a recent episode. I don't know if you guys know this yet, but he asked Lenny on a date already. But don't worry, you Crone fans, there will be more Crow and Lenny, Crow and Lenny centered episodes in the future. <laughs> there may even be some side stories. I've actually made some plans to do side stories with the um with the multiple bachelor <laughs> bachelors Lenny has to choose from. Now, who Lenny picks in the future is I don't know. I can't get involved. I can't even ship. I can help you guys, but I can't help. I can help you guys with ship names and stuff. But the thing is, I can't. Much like Afmau, I can't confirm or deny any ships um, made. <laughs> it, it's kind of sad, I know, but it's how YouTubers work. Unfortunately, I can't participate in, but that doesn't mean, but that doesn't mean I can't read the ship fix. <laughs> Maybe I'll even do a ship fix reading in the future, much like Aphmau's recent series. Oh, ship fix. <laughs> it would be fun, but I have to wait until I get voice actors for it. And body actors. I don't even have body actors, but yes, there are two bachelors right now to answer your question, Shelby Greg. And there will be many more in the future. In fact, Lenny is about to take a little adventure to and on that little adventure to help Goth. And on that event I'm gonna cut that out. In fact, Lenny is going to go on a little adventure soon where she'll encounter another bachelor. <laughs> but I'm gonna let you guys um I'm gonna let you guys have your fun in the comments below. And remember, I love the ships. <laughs> on to the next question. Enough go going goofing and gaffing on the ships. <laughs> next, this, um, this isn't a uh, question, but this is a uh, comment that made me very happy when I saw it uh, in the um, subscriber special video. Announcement video, the update video. <laughs> but yes, I'm very happy for you. Also, I just wanted to say this. I've seen good and gra bad roleplay. And when I found this, I thought, freaking good roleplay for once. 
No offense to the other YouTubers. <laughs> Thank you, Larcia Canner. Larcia Can. Dyslexia! Attack! Oh, God. But anyway, yeah! Thank you so much, Canner. I hope to see your comments, more comments from you in the future. Okay, on to the next question. Oh, it's another shipping question. It's another ship. Uh, oh, gosh. I already answered this question. Um, on to the next question. <laughs> she. <laughs> How'd you come up with Story of the Harvest? Oh, now I've been waiting for this question. And I came up with Story of the Harvest by playing a bunch of Harvest Moon games. <laughs> when I play the Harvest Moon games, I always think about how could this meat do this? How could do this? And how could do that? Oh, oh gosh, I'm horrible. But anyway, how do I put it? Story of the Harvest is a very interesting series based upon my experience with the Harvest Moon games. Much like how there's bachelors, Lenny's gonna have bachelors. Much like how there's heart events, Lenny's gonna have heart. <laughs> and much like how there's goals involving farming, there's gonna be goals involving farming, such as the recent task that Lenny just completed. She just completed the four stacks of gold, but she is soon to get another task. This task will probably have her travel across the land of the Cassinet region. Which I hope is I hope you all are gonna like, because I am working my butt off right now to to <laughs> to build the sets for it. <laughs> but anyway, Story of the Harvest came from the idea of taking of basically taking the concept of the Harvest Moon and Rune Factory games, mashing them into one, and then creating that story in Minecraft. Kind of like Story of the Harvest is like what I would do if I made a Harvest Moon game. Like if I made a game, what would I do? This is what I would do. I'm interested in gaming and programming and all this other stuff, so I thought I'd play around in Minecraft and make, basically make Story to Harvest kind of like a game aspect. I was, I remember watching Aphmau's series, Aphmau's diary series, and being jealous of how, of how she played, basically played an RPG in Minecraft, and it looked really good, and I wished I could play it. <laughs> Oh gosh, but yeah, in the story in the story of the harvest, I'm basically treating it like I, like I would in a heart like I, <laughs> I basically am treating the game like I would play a Harvest Moon game. I choose a route. I do this. I do that. I complete missions and quests. It's actually quite fun, <laughs> especially when I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oh gosh, Rune Factory, Tides of Destiny. I don't have no clue what I'm doing in that game right now, currently. <laughs> anyway, next question. Next question. Oh, um, that question, by the way, was asked by Vicky Wu. Thank you so much, Wiki Wu, for commenting. <laughs> I hope to see your comments in the future. <laughs> anyway, next question is from Lu Loon Appa Gaming. Are you an artist? Yes, I am. I've been, I am very much an artist. I even have a demon art, which I'll link in the comments below. I have a demon art, demon art and a tumbra, tum, th tumbler, 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 yeah, tumbler. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I have a demon art and I have a tumbler. I'll link those in the comment and I'll, li and I'll link the, the tumbler and demon art in the description below. <laughs> follow me. Oh, and follow my Twitter if you want updates on the limelight. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I mostly update that game uh, the limelight on my uh, Twitter if you guys want to follow my game creation process. Anyway, uh, next question. Is this going to be a PG channel? Oh, and uh, the question is asked by Shira... I, I am so sorry. I cannot pronounce your name for the life of me. I don't want to mispronounce it. But anyway, <laughs> the question is, is this, this going to be a PG channel? And also, how old are you? This may be a PG channel, yes, because there are some scenes in the limelight. But yeah, the limelight is definitely gonna be PG. But um, Story of the Harvest is gonna get really. There are gonna be some scenes of violence and in this series, but don't worry, guys. Lenny will overcome them. She will be fine. But anyway, um, yes. And how old am I? <laughs> Everyone's been asking me this. I don't know how to answer this, to be honest. But, uh, I'm around 20 years old. Yes. And I'm in college as a freshman. 
well actually I'm 19 college freshman yeah 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 anyway um <laughs> yes this will be a PG channel because I have slipped up and I have cursed a couple times but I'm gonna try my best to not curse that's the only thing I'm just trying to cut back on like Lene is gonna say probably just gonna say stuff like butterscotch shiitake mushrooms and a lot of things because that's what I do in real life. I actually substitute my cursing for stuff like buttercups, sweet buttercups, butterscotch. And I'll say, yeah, sh shiitake mushrooms. I think I use shiitake mushrooms more often than anything. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, it's going to be a PG channel to answer your question. And let's move on. Next question is from Jean Rattan. Now, I pulled this question from episode... 10 of Story of the Harvest because I felt like I didn't have enough questions in the um, update video to answer. And this question really did draw me to, draw me to it. It may seem, this question from Dreamer Chan, it may seem all innocent and cute now, but I'm almost positive the plot's gonna thicken. And what's with the ocarinas? Like first lightning, now spring? Like, ugh, I feel like things are gonna get intense soon. Let's enjoy the fluff while it lasts. Okay. Now, let me answer some questions. Let me answer a big question here. I am not going to stop being fluffy. Lenny is not stopping the fluff train. But, yeah, I am not going to stop being fluffy. That is a big no-no. When, when the day I stop fluffing is the day alpacas go extinct. But, uh, anyway, no. The story will not stop being fluffy. Lenny's gonna... Lenny's that type of character that knows how to be fluffy, even in the most serious moments. Which I'm still developing, but... Yeah, but anyway. Um, Lenny is an oblivious, fluffy character. So, don't worry, Dreamer Chan. Lenny will not stop being fluffy. And if Lenny stops being fluffy, there's always spring. <laughs> spring will be the fluffiest little thing in the world. <laughs> but yes, to answer the question, the plot is going to thicken soon and spring and lene are gonna have a lot more in common than you guys think they are <laughs> anyway i can't answer any more details besides that for the whole spring and uh lene ocarina thing but yeah i think it's time i wrapped up uh wrapped up this q a don't you guys think <laughs> anyway um thank you all for watching story of the harvest i sincerely want to say this but you guys make me so insanely happy. And not just because you guys give me ego boost. <laughs> I'm sorry. It had to be, it had to be said. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope to see you all in the future. And when we hit 2,000 subscribers, I'll have another Q&A special lined up. Or maybe I'll sing a song like I said it would originally. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Keep on watching Story Harvest. Keep on looking out for all this stuff. And I'll see all you happy packers later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>